Okay, today we are working on what is called the crochet drop stitch. You will need at least two different contrasting colors and any size hook you would like to use, I will use either an H or an I hook and you see that I have used uh, two definite uh, contrasting colors here in the sample piece. So um, grab your two separate colors and if you wanted to use more that's fine and we will get started on this new stitch. Alright so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain an even number amount so we're going to chain 14 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Alright, so now what you want to do is single crochet in the second from the chain, from the hook, chain one and skip one. So skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next one, chain one and skip the next stitch. And that's going to be the pattern you're going to resume all the way across this row. So skip the next one, single crochet in the next, chain one. Skip the next, single crochet in the next, chain one. Skip one, single crochet in the next, and chain one. So you will do that across your row here, and at the end you should end up in the last uh, chain there. And this is going to be the completion of this row, okay? So um, now we will be ready to move on to the next row of the drop stitch. Alright, so now what we're going to do is turn, chain one, and now we're just going to do a basic single crochet row. So single crochet here into that beginning stitch. Then the next stitch will go into that chain one space itself and then you'll go into that next single crochet. Then the chain one space, then the single crochet. So you will just repeat that across, working in the chain one space, then in the single crochet. The chain one space, and then the single crochet. So you will do that until the end of this row. Okay, and now once you get to that last stitch, you will pull through just one loop now, and then here is where we're going to add our new color. Uh, and you will add that with a slip knot here on your hook, pull that through, and you're not going to finish off here. You do not want to separate our original color because we will just pick that up as we come back to this end. Alright, so now we have our color change. You want to now chain up two. Now here's where you're going to start your drop stitch. So what you want to do is work in our foundation chain row down below. So you're actually going to work two rows below. So I'm going to take my needle here. And if you look at your foundation row here, I will zoom in a bit here and let you see what I'm talking about. Here's your foundation row. And this is the row we're currently, well, we currently just finished. And then you have your row before that. So this is row one and row two. And then you have your foundation row. So two rows below that is going to be your foundation row. You're going to work in this loop here. Then you will skip this next stitch, which is here. And then you will come below this next stitch and work into this foundation chain here but you're only going into this loop, basically, okay? So we are going to start off working right here, okay? Because that's going to be our very first drop loop. Um, so let's start there. So you've chained two. So you're just in a drop loop here, a drop stitch drop loop, I call them the same thing. You're basically doing a single crochet, but you want it to be loose, okay? You don't want to compact this. So you're going to take your hook and go down into that stitch and then you're just going to grab your yarn, pull up and do a si simple single crochet. 
just like this. But you don't want to pull it real tight like this. You don't want to compact it, so leave it a little loose right there. And then you want to chain one. You're going to skip this next one. You're going to go over the, to this next single crochet and work down below that one into that next chain um, stitch below that, two rows below. So you'll do the same process. Go into that stitch below there, pull up, and complete a single crochet, chain one. And that's your second drop loop, drop stitch. Same thing to me. Skip the next stitch, then you'll go over to the next single crochet, go down below that one for your next drop stitch, and work a single crochet loosely, chain one. And then you will do the same process until we get to the last one. Make sure to put that chain one in because that is going to help us make our next row of drop stitches. So maintain your tension here. So you're going to skip the next one and go into this, what I'm going to say is going to be our last drop stitch. Now here, you're not going to just chain one, you're going to chain two. And you're going to do a slip stitch here into this last chain. Or the last stitch, I'm sorry, not chain. So just do a slip stitch here. You want to even that up. We had a chain two here at the beginning. We now have a chain two here at the end. Okay? So that is how you do your first row of drop stitches. Alright, so now what we're going to do is turn our work. You're now going to chain up one. And you're going to single crochet in that chain two space. You're going to single crochet in the top of that drop stitch. And then you're just going to work that across this entire row. So you want to maintain those that 13 stitch count uh, as well going across. So make sure you still have your 13 stitches. And just single crochet in each one of these. You want to end up with your last single crochet being in this chain two space here at the end. Now before you finish this last single crochet off, you want to pick up that original color and pull that through. Now you're going to turn, you're going to chain up one or two, and then we are going to start our drop stitching again. So this time you're going to go right below here. You're going to see your first skipped stitch, which is right here. So you're just going to go down, pull that up, and work that first single crochet. Chain one. Skip the next one. And then the next uh, available stitches are going to be right beside the previous one. So you're going to see the defined stitches right beside it. So just work the drop stitch and chain one. Skip the next one, go into that next stitch for the drop stitch, and chain one. And just work that across. And the more rows you have going, these will be more defined. So just work that across. Here's your next one. Okay. And now what you're going to do is work that chain two at this last stitch and then you're going to do your slip stitch at the end of this row. Okay. Now you want to turn, chain up one, now you're going to work your single crochet row again. So one in the beginning chain two space, one in the top of your drop stitch and then you will work that across. So make sure you still have your 13 stitches. You do not want to lose or add any. And every two rows basically you are changing your color. Okay, so go into that last stitch here grab your original color, or not original, but the next color, pull that through. 
and then you're just going to keep going with this okay so here you will chain your two and you will just keep right on going so you're going to skip this next stitch and you will go into the next one for your first drop stitch and chain one and then you will just skip the next one and keep going and like I said they become a lot more obvious as you go and you will be flying through this no problem okay so that is pretty much what your drop stitch consists of so you just keep on going and you keep repeating those rows and you build this project up to the size you want it and like I said I think the more colors you have for this I think the uh, more beautiful the pattern will become okay so until next video guys you guys have a great day and happy hooking